Thank you for joining me for a brief overview of the capabilities of Sage's core financial modules. We will start with visibility into your business through dashboards, navigating the system, financial reports, general ledger and the power of dimensions, accounts payable and accounts receivable. As soon as you log into Sage, you can see the information that is important to you regardless of your role. We are starting with Dimensional Insights to see how our various revenue categories are performing against the budget. Visual indicators easily alert you to favorable and not so favorable outcomes. You can configure your user preferences to select what you want to see when you log in. Sage is multi-entity, allowing you to view each entity individually or consolidate entities for summary reporting. You can easily move from one entity to another with the dashboard immediately reflecting only that entity's information. Your dashboards can consist of any number of components, performance cards to show comparisons to budget, prior periods, or calculations such as percentage of revenue, financial statements. Sage Core Financial comes with over 130 standard reports, including 35 pre-built financial reports. This particular one is showing how you can slice and dice your financial information through the use of dimensions. I can see my revenue by location. I can look at a different kind of a classification. I can break it down by customer industries, as well as the specific items that I want to see. I can also show, have graphs on here, simple menu items, and also a collaborate feed that seamlessly integrates with Salesforce Chatter, provides additional insight, and you can actually attach it to financial transactions as well, and it will stay with that transaction throughout its workflow. Transactions continually close to the general ledger, providing immediately, immediate visibility on dashboards and financial reports. You'll notice as I hover over various fields on the dashboard, you turn blue, which indicates that I can drill down into that number. Each subsequent drill down takes me to the report that provided the initial value all the way down that source transaction, reviewing of the specific GL account numbers and anything that led to that particular transaction. Since Sage Intact is completely browser-based, dashboards are visible from a tablet or mobile device connected to the internet. There are a few different ways to navigate the system. The first is a standard menu system, which provides two tabs, all, and setup. All shows the transactional functions and reports, and setup provides the functions to configure the module and set up the base tables needed to perform the functions. I'm logged into the system as two types of users, employee and business. The employee user has access to view information but cannot update financial transactions. The business user is able to enter financial transactions and with full administrative privileges, is able to update and create transactions and reports. The user only sees what they have access to. You'll notice how Nikki, my employee user, has access to only two of the seven entities and has limited menu options in comparison to Emma, who was the business user. Another way of getting through the system is something called swim lane access. This provides common workflows presented in a format separated by types of activity, foundational files needed to support the module, transactions or tasks for the workflow throughout that module, and the reports. If a user does not have access to specific functions, their icons are grayed out as you will see with Nikki here. So I bookmark this particular page for Nikki, but the bookmark is going to be able to take you to exactly where you were when you left the system. You're able to bookmark it and drag and drop options in the order you want to see them. You may have noticed as we were going through our other menus, how there were little stars that showed up. You can click on a star next to a function to place it on the list of favorites. And then when I go to my list of favorites, this is everything that I would use on a daily basis. As we were looking at these reports, we note that the chart of accounts is really the foundation of the financial reports. It consists only of the natural account number. 
So in order to take advantage of the 35 standard financial reports, the natural account is mapped to a quick start category, consisting either of asset, liability, revenue, expense, et cetera, asset. You select the account type and the normal balance, and then you're also able to require dimensions to be assigned to transactions. So if that dimension, if it's required, is not attached to that jail account transaction, it will be flagged as an error and you will not be able to enter it. We can also set up dimensional relationships, which allow us to avoid errors in assigning the wrong department or location so that you're limited to that number. If we go through and take a look now into our accounts payable, Sage now provides AP automation within the application rather than using a third party provider. Bills can be added via the bill upload where you would just, you have an email from a vendor with an attachment. You can browse, just drag it right into here. You identify the location where it's going to and how you want that bill generated. And you would then create the bill and it creates it in draft mode. You can also email them to a specific entity address. It's a secure email and you can instruct your vendors to do that. You can take a look at my bill upload and it's going to show me the invoice that was brought over as, a, as an attachment. NTAC will allow you to have numerous attachments attached to, to bills, and these attachments will stay through at the workflow within that invoice. You're able to attach any attachments to AR transactions, uh, customers, vendors, anything within the system. Another helpful feature is the ability to allocate expenses across multiple dimensions. We're gonna go take a look at my global properties and rental invoice. And you'll notice that I have a $6,500 rent invoice, but I need to allocate it across a couple of different dimensions and locations. I have a predefined percentage allocation across my multiple dimensions. And as soon as I apply that rental allocation group, Intact will do the, the calculations for me. We also have the ability to approve bills. So Emma is a bill approver. When she goes in, she can either have email notification or she can just go into her list of approvals. She's able to only view it, approve or decline. She's not able to make any changes to that bill, but she is able to see the attachment that went along with it and is able to see if it was mapped correctly to the appropriate accounts. From there, she can approve or decline. Either way, she can add a note to let the user know if it's declined, the reason for, for the disapproval, and then be able to make what changes needed to be made. The last thing we're gonna do within our bills is to pay them. From there, you can determine F filters, select the payment method, you put in the bill currency, intact is completely multi-currency base, and then I select my bank. From there, it's going to provide me with my bank balance. And as I go through and I select my checks, it's going to tell me the number of bills that were selected and then the amount of those checks. From there, you print the checks or you can use our cash management module to be able to create ACH files or uh, electronic funds transfer files. We're next gonna go take a look at our accounts receivable, which certainly is set up very similar to accounts payable. Within the accounts receivable, your invoices can be initiated either in, or in accounts receivable or through order entry. All order entry invoices are immediately visible within accounts receivable. There is absolutely no batch processing. You're also able to drill down into that order entry transaction to see what the items were, quantities, and the unit prices. You're easily able to add in your customer payments just by putting in the customer. 
You can type that in. You don't necessarily need to know any numbers. You put in the amount that was received. The account type, whether it's bank or undeposited funds, what your payment method is, the payment number, and then show the invoices. From there, as you select the invoices to pay, it's going to tell you how much the total is and you can match that up with your payment that's been received. So as you can see, Sage provides the visibility you need to make informed business decisions through the use of dimensional reporting. You're able to navigate the system in the manner that works best for you. Security configurations range from full administrative access to view only capabilities. With Sage, you have anywhere, anytime access to your environment since all you need is internet access. Thank you for taking the time to view Sage Intact's core financials.